Hi, my name is Steven and uh, I'm pretty new to golf. I started November of this past year and so that's been about seven months or so. Uh, I, I do enjoy playing and trying to get out to the course. My average score is probably like a 30 to 40 handicap, so maybe somewhere in the hundreds. Um, pros and cons, I feel like one of my favorite things to do is just hit it hard <laughs> and when I make you know, good contact, I, I, I love that feeling of just having the impact and having to go far. Um, cons, there's so many. I mean, I just started, but I guess one of the, the big flaws I've seen is I'm very steep and over the top. Um, that plus, I think I have a problem with just early extension. So those are some of the things I've noticed. Um, I guess with that, you know, I'd like to improve on all the clubs, but one of the things that I see a lot is with my driver. You know, I don't know if it's from the early extension or the steepness, I just have a lot of slices and it kind of ruins my game, ruins my day. But, uh, you know, there's so many things to improve, but I would say those are some of the things that I've seen recently in my game. All right, well, Steven, uh, it's my pleasure to have you here, number one. Welcome to Epic Studios. Right. Number two, your laundry list sounds uh, very short. <laughs> so. Like anybody we meet here that's starting out golf, you know, they want uh, they want everything fixed and the first thing they mention is the driver. Yeah. Let me ask you this question real quick. Do you slice your irons? Not as much. Okay. Yeah. So, have you taken lessons before? I took a handful at the very beginning. Okay. Um, I didn't even know how to pull the club at first and then okay. after, you know, a month or two, I just, I've been on my own watching YouTube lessons. So. Okay. Perfect. So what I want to do today is number one is look at your irons to begin with and then we can maybe jump into your wood driver because I get this all the time, you know, I'm a new student and I want to make sure I fix my driver. Well, we got to understand the makeup of the clubs, okay? As a beginner, what is the big difference between a driver and an iron, you think? It's a longer club, Absolutely. harder to control. Absolutely. Yeah, length is one factor. But now we got to look at the design of the club, okay? so. When we look at an iron here, we have a lot of grooves, okay? Yeah. These grooves are designed so the ball can rise and spin on it, okay? And we have a pretty, it's just an angled face. Yeah. If we go ahead and go ahead and grab your driver here real quick, if you don't mind. Now, Steven, I explain this to everybody that's starting out in golf to understand the makeup of the club. So, like I just mentioned, now we have grooves on here that will grab the ball, which is designed to create spin on the ball. Just think about it as yeah. tires on a golf on a car. When it's raining, what happens to those treads? Yeah. When there's a lot of water on the ground, <coughs> it gets slippery. It gets slippery, yeah. exactly. We hydroplane. So as I look at your clubs here, I see a lot of dirt in it. Okay? Now I think of this as you driving on a, on a street where it's flooded, your tires are no good. Yeah. You know, your hydroplane. Same thing with this. These grooves are useless. <laughs> so what that means is you can make a really good swing. And that ball is just gonna float. You may not have control of it because, again, these grooves are here for a, for a reason. We're supposed to grab and spin and cause that ball to go a certain trajectory. You know, I was the same way growing up. I never cleaned my clothes, but once I got a little bit more serious as, I, as, as my game progressed, I understood the importance of that. Because, same with you, like you said, you know, you're starting out, you wanna make a good swing and you wanna see a good ball flight. And this is part of it, making sure that this is clean. But the other part too, like I was getting into, is this shaft is at an angle, if you look at that, okay? Yeah. There's not much curvature. If we look at a driver here, okay, there are some grooves, but they're not deep. Yeah. And obviously in the sweet spot, there is no grooves. Okay? So what I'm getting at here is also there's curvature, which is very hard to see here, but it's a bulging roll on the face. Oh, yeah. Okay? It's not a straight up and down. Yeah. So think of it this way. If I blew up a balloon, Okay. And I put it down here and I told you to bounce a ball right off the middle and have it come right back at you. I'd call you my hero if you could do it the first time. <laughs> but it's almost impossible. So that's why the driver is designed for you to work the ball a little bit more because of the facing. I see. Okay. So this is why I want to see you make a swing number one okay. with an iron because if you can't accomplish what we're looking for with an iron, it's very difficult to jump up to a wood. Yeah, to try to fix something that we can't even, we can't do it with this, it's going to be very hard. Okay, okay? So, what I want to see here is a swing out of you. we got a 7-iron in the hand here. I'm going to look at a couple of things. I'm going to look at see how 
you progress with your grip and posture. So go ahead and make a swing. So as you can see here, the ball did move left to right with a 90. Yeah. Okay? So as we look at the data, the first thing I will look at here is the ball curvature. It goes left to right without even going to the camera and breaking it down. I already know it because of my club path here. The club path is out to in. It's very 90 degree. That's a lot. Yeah. Okay. So as we talk about club path, okay, it's very important to understand that zero zero is obviously optimal, but it's very difficult to get to that consistently. So we're looking at about a two degree variance. Two degrees in to out or two degrees um, out to in. Okay? But then we got there's other variables that go with that. Matching the club face to that as well. So I don't want to bore you and complicate things, but you gotta fix your out to in. So let's look at your swing here. So as I pull up your swing, okay, you have done a great job here as far as your posture. Did you play sports growing up? I did. You can tell, you're very athletic. It just looks natural. Okay, your shoulders, left shoulders down a little bit. Why would your left shoulder be down naturally? Just my right hand. Is underneath the left hand, absolutely. Great concept there, great understanding there. So I'm gonna draw a few lines here. I'm gonna draw one going up the shaft line, okay? Another one here that we look at here, Coach and I really focus on is the head and then the back side here, okay? So as I maneuver this, actually I'm gonna draw one more, sorry. I'm gonna drive over your right shoulder here as well. And that's gonna tell me how the club is traveling on the downswing. So as I look at a couple of things here. Okay, head looks really nice. You know what, this is really good stuff right here. I'm gonna change the color on this. Your hands and club really match up here with your, your spine, look at that. It might be just a tad closed, okay? Club gets vertical. Okay. We're actually pretty good at the top here. You know, what I see here is I don't. I see your hands covering the club. So you're not across, you're not very laid off, you're pretty square here. Now as you can see coming down here, okay? Everything's okay, okay, okay until we get to this point here. Then the club head starts traveling on that line on the outside. You see that? I see. Okay, let's clear all these lines here. But you'll see the club head way out here by your neck. Ideally, I would like to see this shaft coming down your shoulder line, okay? So that's what we call out to in. Now the club head's outside the hands. And that tell us right here, out to in path of 90 degrees. Okay? And I, I guarantee as we get into the ball here, it's not as bad as we would assume. You're pretty square at impact, okay? Because you're an athlete. What did you play growing up? Uh, basketball mostly, but just okay. different right here. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Basketball, perfect. And the hands come in, you know, across the body, out over the left shoulder. So now let, let's get you fixed a little bit, okay? So let's go ahead and set up here. As we saw in video, your takeaway looks really nice. You're really good at the top. It's just now we got to work on your transition down into the golf ball. So let's get to the top here, okay? And now if I held your shoulders here, okay, and I told you to get the club back to the ball, what, what's the first thing you would do? Probably. Go ahead. Probably like, exactly. Yeah. You see that? He almost picked me off the ground. He's pretty strong there. So what I'm getting at, every player wants to do that, okay? Well, I'm going to be you now, and you're going to be coach, okay? You're going to hold my shoulders like I just held your shoulders. Hang on here. Let me get to the top of the swing, okay? So I'm going to get to the top here, okay? Now hold my shoulders here and here. So the first thing you did what? You put pressure on my shoulders, right? Yeah. Exactly. Well, now let's do that again. If I get into this position, hold my shoulders again. Okay. Now I told you to get the club back to the ball. See that? Yeah. I don't have to move my shoulders. I can just drop my hands and they're going to get close to the ball. See uh -oh. that? So we got to get you in a better position to start doing that. Yeah. So let's get you that feel first, okay? So let's get to the top. You load very nicely forward towards me. That's perfect. At the top of your swing, your pressure's on your lead side. Now go ahead and just drop the hands. So 
Go ahead, let him get flippy for right now, okay? Get to the top again. And just let gravity drop it. Are they dropping to the outside or the inside? Inside. Absolutely. Yeah. So as you do that, go ahead and get to the top now again. I'm not going to hold your shoulders. Now drop your hand, arms again. The whole arm? Yeah, just drop from gravity. Okay. No. So when you drop, this thing just drops. Like oh, everything okay. just drops. Like literally, gravity is just going to pull this arm down. See okay. this? Yeah. There you go, do that. And I want the club in the ground. Now drop them. There you go, yeah. And then turn. There you go, good. And all the way through. Perfect. Do that again. Get to the top. Drop them. There you go. And turn. Good. One more time. Drop them. There you go. Good. So you, as a basketball player, you have to have what with your arms when you shoot free throws? Coordination. What? Well, coordination, but it's obviously a, there's a lot of there's no tension. Oh yeah. You know, if you're up here. Before when I asked you to bring the club to the ball, that's like you trying to push the arm into the into the hoop. Yeah. You look like Shaq. That's why he's terrible at free throws. So what I'm getting at is when you're up here, you're releasing. Yeah. Same concept with this sport. You're creating the same leverage over here. You got the right angle going. You can literally shoot a basketball in this position, this this direction. Yeah. So if I'm standing here, I can shoot a basketball. So why not do the same thing? Once we're here, the release point is just dropping it. Now we just add a little bit of a pivot motion with the body. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So once I get here and I just drop it, now I just start kind of pivoting. See that? It's a pivot motion. Kind of like dancing. I'm a terrible dancer. I got two left feet, I've been told. But once we get that rhythm, we're going to be very good at this game. So let's go ahead and set up here. I'm not looking for distance here. Yeah. I'm just looking for the concept. So let's get to the top. Now go ahead and softly drop the arms and turn. There we go, good. Let's look at that for a second. It's much better now, but it's still a little outside. Okay. Okay. Now as you follow through, do you look jammed up? No. Exactly. <laughs> you're allowed to pivot. So, now this is, folks, we're not joking here. This is a real deal. This has not been rehearsed. So as you can see here, just a very small thing of understanding how the mechanics of the anatomy works. If we can just drop the arm, they will naturally want to drop to the inside. But we got to be careful with that drill though too. What he does very nicely here is he makes a good shoulder turn. Okay? Now if he just picked up the club on the takeaway and just dropped it, he'd still be out to end. So him being an athlete here, allowing the makes a good radius turn with the shoulders and then he just drops it, okay? Then he gets to the inside. And then now we just let his natural instincts take over of just him pivoting, okay?